Welcome back to my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Continuing on in our look at the A-list of Hollywood. It's funny that this man is an A-lister, but I'm not trying to knock him. I'm just being honest. Wrestler become fake wrestler becomes actor. Anyway, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This is going to be a brief video. No frills, no thrills. Could he possibly be part of the club, secret societies, an occultist, perhaps an illuminist or a Freemason? Well, we'll have a look at that today and let you decide. So we're starting out here with him flashing up the devil horns which Anton LaVey says, calls it the sign of the horns, and says it's a curse sign. And next we have some one-eyed symbolism on this movie poster for uh, the movie Skyscraper. Okay, look, we get it. It's something that people do in Hawaii. Or you'll see teenagers hanging loose. You have to understand that these occultists speak in double meaning. And this is, for them, frankly, another flashing of the horns. It is one of the signs that they use. Much like they will gaslight you about this. Oh, they're saying I love you. Again, if, if it were technically I love you, it would be turned facing us. But regardless of that, with the thumbs out, oh, they're just saying I love you. And when you call them out about the devil horns, universally, over and over again, it's always, no, it's metal hands, man. Come on, I like rock and roll. You know? So you're telling me that, you know, nobody has any affiliation with like Satanism or the church. It's just all that. And then Anton LaVey was just making it up. Let's not forget to point out that Helen Keller, who invented sign language, this particular sign was a follower of Madame Blavatsky. She was a theosophist and Madame Blavatsky believed that Lucifer is the light bearer, the, the, uh, God essentially. Now, for the purposes of today's video, I'm not going to include a, a long barrage of other celebrities that do this exact thing. If you are interested, uh, I have a video on my channel. It's called The Widow's Eyeglass. This is another way that if this particular individual, as an example, were a Freemason, this is one of the ways that they would indicate to others, right in open view, drawing really no attention to themselves, that they are on the checkerboard, that they're on the square, as the Masons would say. These are just simply how that, you, you, you know, the, the argument, I sometimes do that. I've grabbed my, so have I. But this is a man literally standing up in front of cameras flashing for the very purpose of capturing photographs. And you will see a lot of times um, news articles and news items that will lead with photographs of the person doing this. It's one of the ways that they communicate with one another. And finally, well, we're, we're going to show you the video where he says, Hail Satan, right? Jokingly on Saturday Night Live in a skit. But, okay, so this photograph looks innocent enough. Run of the mill. Nothing much happening. Just pointing up. Maybe he believes in Jesus. Or maybe... Were he a, a Freemason, this would be known as the sign of preservation, seen right here. This is a statue that sits at a lodge in Wisconsin. And then, of course, here's the video from Saturday Night Live. Xantrex gave me my life back. Hail Satan. So, is Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the club? I'll leave that up for you to decide. I think you probably know where I stand. To Dwayne, if you ever happen to come across this video, sir, nothing personal. I pray that God bless you and your life, your loved ones, your family. That you come to knowledge of the truth, which can only be found in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That you repent of your sins, just as I had to do. That you be baptized and born again, so that you can see the kingdom of God. And come out of Hollywood, sir. Come out of the satanic system 
expose it and work on the force of true light, not that of Lucifer, if you are. God bless everyone in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day.